forward to. Absolutely. Something with purpose there. All right, now, if you're a fan of Downton Abbey, this one's for you, because dozens of items have been discovered on a country estate in West Sussex. The items from Parham House near Paulbrook give a fascinating insight into life there in the 1920s and 30s. And they go on display to the public this weekend. But David Allard has been given an exclusive preview. For 450 years, Parham House has been a witness to history, from a rumoured visit by Queen Elizabeth I to the wartime evacuees who found a home here. So you're never quite sure what you'll find at the back of an old stable. This is um, from the Estate Fire Brigade and all the equipment's here. So we've got the um, fire ladder that goes to the top of the house. And as an estate worker, like myself as a, a gardener here, we would have been required to have a uniform and to be on a first response to any fire at Parham. When you start to unearth this, you can't help but get wrapped up in the stories. These items date back to the 1920s and 30s when the estate was owned by Clive and Alicia Pearson. Their great-granddaughter now lives here. My great-grandparents never threw anything away, and indeed we keep coming across things and surprising ourselves. It's great. One of the most exciting ones, I think, was this little bag, which we did literally find a couple of weeks ago. And it's the bag that went up to London on the train from Pulborough. Letters would come back down to Parham in this bag, and I imagine that the station officer probably chuck it out of the train to the butler or somebody who went to pick it up. We do have a number of toys, and there's a picture of actually my mother pushing this little elephant. It's very, very sweet. It's pure Downton Abbey stuff, but is there still that class divide here between upstairs and downstairs? Not so much of a hierarchy. I think we all kind of muck in now to, to make do, and I think in, in the 20s, 30s, you had everybody with a very specific role, and uh, now everybody just mucks in and does what needs to be done to, to make the place tick along. Back outside, more memories are being stirred. You can't really describe it, can you? But it's the living link to the past. And I just think of all the people who spent hours working with these machines. And here we are. They're out. And I just, I love it. It's terribly moving. All the artefacts will be on display to the public this Sunday. David Allard, BBC South Today, Parham House. Worth a look, certainly. A sneak preview of what the uh, history of that yeah, house is all about. Beautiful house. On